Hello everyone, my name is The Fox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the most performance out of AMD's latest platform, their Rembrandt platform. This is AMD 6800U while keeping TDP low. Right now, you can see we're at about 38 watt here. I'm going to have it big on the screen for you guys. What you're going to be using is Cypher's latest bat. So shout out to Cypher for getting this working because I've been using another tool to get this done, but now it's going to be a public tool that anyone can get. So step one, go to the description field below and you'll find a link to the GPD Discord. It'll be an invite if you're not already there. And then you're going to want to go to the Tools channel. And then you're going to want to scroll up and go and get the TDP BAT version 2.32. That is the updated build. So anything further than that should have the fixes in it as well. Once you download that, you're going to go ahead and extract it. There's going to be a little file there that says install this. You're going to double click on that. It'll install any required files. From there, you can actually just run the BAT. And this is what you're going to see on your side. So right now, so right now you can see that I have it set to 800 megahertz on the GPU, but I haven't set anything just yet. So right now I'm going to go ahead and remove that GPU clock speed limit. So we're going to go ahead and press X, and then we're going to press A to disable. All right, so now the clock speed has been disabled, so now it's just going to go. But instead I'm going to just going to do 9 watt here. Okay, so I set it for 9 watt. We see that our CPU package power went all the way down to 9 watt. Take a look at our GPU clock. Our GPU clock is at 200 megahertz, 400 megahertz. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of freeze frame this right here. Let me go into heaven. Okay, it's stuck right there. Now you can see that we're about 20, 22 FPS, 21 FPS. At 9 watt, this is what you're going to get at default. However, what we can do in the background is actually change the GPU clock to something else. So we're just going to go ahead and go ahead and launch this again. All right, and now let me move this out of the way just so you can see it happen in real time. So if you take a look at the GPU clock, right? Um, now what I prefer is at nine watt, I prefer 900 megahertz. It just seems like a nice all round number. This is something that you might want to play with depending on the game. If you want to push more CPU, you could lower that down maybe to about 800 megahertz just to try to get a little bit more CPU out of that. But for the most part at nine watt, but in general, 900 megahertz is something that I found to be a sweet spot at nine watt. Okay, so let's take a look at the GPU clock here. You can see we're at about 24 FPS. Okay, so I set it at 900 watts and you can see that our FPS just jumped up dramatically. We're still at nine watt here, nothing changed. We're actually using the same amount of power before and after. We just got better performance just by setting the GPU clock. And that is available now in Cypher's latest bat file which is TDP bat 232. So it is literally just as simple as that. You'll open it up, you'll press X, and then choose whatever you want. Let's say that you wanted to also do this on our PCS3, like on God of War 3 that I showed before. Let's see how that looks like in real time. All right, so here we are looking at God of War 3 now, and this is something that I showed off previously just so you can see what it looks like in action. Okay, so I'm pushing a pretty high TDP at this point. I'm still at 38 watt. But if you could just take a look at our GPU clock, you can see that it's fluctuating a bit. It's 533, then it goes down to 200. So you can see that I'm not statically setting the GPU at all right now. It is dynamic, but unfortunately it's just not pushing power to the GPU at all. So what we need to do is go ahead and push GPU to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause that and I'm gonna bring up all right, so if we take a look right here, you can see that our GPU clock is about 533 megahertz, 744 megahertz. I'm going to go ahead and set that to 1.5 gigahertz right here. Okay, so now it's 1.5 gigahertz. You can see that it is adjusted up here. And... You can see the increase in performance that we got just by pushing the GPU clock. And I'll show you that happening in real time while the game is played and not just like, you know, pressing start and being in the menu. Alright, so we're kind of hitting 40s, 50s, low 40s. Let me go ahead and... Actually, let me just go ahead and just beat these things just so we can see it happening in real time. Okay, 
All right, so there it is. You can see that we're, well, now that there's no action going on, we're at like 56. Let me go ahead and go forward a little bit more. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and see if we can't fix this. All right, let's try, let's try 1.6 gigahertz. How's that look? Let's try 1.1 gigahertz. Okay, you can see that it changed right there. Now obviously the thing that we want to pay attention to here is this is a balance between what kind of power we're needing for the GPU as what kind of power we need for the CPU as well. Now by reducing the GPU clock, obviously that's going to be a fixed clock and how much power that's going to take so all the excess power would be able to go to the CPU, which we're actually able to pull off about like 3.9 gigahertz on those N3 CPUs right now. We're still getting pretty decent performance. It's actually very playable in this particular state, but this is one method where at the high end on certain things like emulation where there's just something missing on the APU side where it's just not engaging that GPU, but now we can actually directly force the GPU up to get better performance. Likewise, at a lower TDP, we can force a GPU clock so that we can kind of futz with how much power we're giving to the CPU because it tends to either want to give a little bit too much to the CPU in certain scenarios. Basically, that's the end of it. You can look at it from both ends, but it's always being aware of how much power we're kind of uh, splitting between the CPU and the GPU. And now we have a mechanism that is going to be publicly available that you can set the GPU yourself, especially on like a device like the GPU Max 2, but on any 6800U device. So once again, go ahead in the description field below, click on the Discord link, go to the tools section, and then click on Cypher's latest bat, at least 2.32 plus will work. Uh, that is a quick how to get better performance on AMD 6800U on both higher TDPs as well as lower TDPs. As always, guys, thank you for your time, and thanks for watching.